What is wrong with customers these days? I, I just ended up refunding someone because they couldn't wait 24 hours for me to process their order. You can't even wait 24 freaking hours for me to process your order. This has happened three times in the last couple months. And I just straight up refund them and I tell them, look, man, you're going to have to pay again. And this time, don't file a dispute. And then wait for me to process your order. This is what I tell them. And actually, uh, the last two guys I did it to, they didn't even pay me again. I'm like, okay, whatever, dude. I don't care. Go away. Don't need you. Why don't I need them? Because I got lots of money coming in. I don't need your free freaking 50 bucks. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, I got like lots of money coming into various accounts. I don't need your $50. I do this as a service because I like to help people make money online. I don't do this because I need your money. You see what I'm saying? That's how it works, okay? So if I was one of these other dudes that is broke, pretending to be a guru, I might need your 50 bucks. You know what I'm saying? And then I'd be like, hey, why'd you file a dispute on me? You know, instead, I just like refund you and say, hey, jackass, pay me again. This time, don't file a dispute. Well, then they get their feelings hurt. Why you say, what, what's wrong with this guy? You know? I don't care, dude. If, you, if your feelings get hurt over that shit, go away. Go find someone else, man. You're just a pussy anyways. You know, you can't even handle a little bit of criticism. Don't file a dispute. Don't be a pansy and file a dispute 24 hours after you order something because you haven't got it yet. You know? I mean, you didn't even ask a question. You didn't even ask me, hey, where's my order? You just like freaking file a dispute. That's our culture today. They don't, they don't even ask you a question. They just freaking file a dispute. So I just refund anybody. Anybody that files a dispute on me and they haven't shipped the shit, I just refund them. That's what I do. I don't even waste my time with it, man. It's a freaking waste of time. I don't like to have disputes on my account, so I just finish it right there. I get done, I get it done right there. Um, you know, and with the, with the culture now, with how eBay and Amazon are, it's like people just want to file a dispute or get a refund every, you know, for the most frivolous things in the world. Uh, a lot of it can be extortion based uh, for feedback. You know, hey, I got the thing in the mail, but, you know, it's slightly, you know, it's got a little crease in the box. I wanted it to have a perfect box that it came in because I'm a collector. And it had a crease in it. So I want 20 bucks back. You know, or... I'm not joking. People are like that. Seriously. Uh, oh, it didn't come with what I expected for accessories. Even though you had it completely listed correctly in your listing. And it came exactly as you said. I expected it to have other things in the box too. Yeah. You see what I mean? I mean, dumb shit like that. And then it'll be like... Give me 20 bucks back or 50 bucks back. And then like they only paid you like... They're asking for 20 bucks back and they only paid you like 60 and they're like asking for 20 back, you know, for something, something little, something ex extremely little, you know, and, or I'm going to give you negative feedback. You know, this is the bullshit you have to deal with these days, you know, extorting you. It's like the Russian mafia coming into your like little shop and like, you know, beating up, beating up the, your wife and stuff and like, give me the money, you know. Give me your money this, you know, and every week they're coming in for money, you know what I mean? It's kind of like that or something. So, you know, and then I, I mentioned, like, I go into Office Depot and, like, half of the UPS shipments are freaking Amazon returns, man. That's what UPS is. They should just call themselves Amazon Returns. They should just change their name from UPS to Amazon Returns because that's the only freaking business they get. They're such a pathetic company, man. <laughs> I, You know what? If, if eBay wouldn't have made a deal with UPS, they would probably have half the business. You know what I mean? Because it started out I, it was with eBay. It started out with eBay because uh, I remember when they started integrating integrating UPS with eBay. Yeah, use UPS. UPS is the shittiest company out of the three, but we, we, we set them up with us. You know, they're really shitty. They're really expensive and shitty, but we're going to stick them on eBay and make you use them. And then after that, Amazon did the same thing. They're like, oh, we're going to use this shitty company too. So that's such a great idea. Let's use UPS too for all our returns. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's so dumb, man. I mean, the reason why I pick on UPS is because they broke my, the first time I used them, they broke my, one of my items I shipped and they wouldn't pay me for it. And it was like more expensive than FedEx too. And I was like, 
Shoot, I'll just go with FedEx. And FedEx was a heck of a lot better overall, man. It was a lot, lot better. They would always pay their claims, and you got a huge discount if you had a, uh, an account with them and stuff. So they should just call themselves Amazon and eBay. Uh, they should, I, may, oh, maybe, I guess eBay uses them too, so they can't, can't just call themselves Amazon Returns. But, you know, they, that should be like their secondary name. You know, like they're, they're doing business as Amazon Returns, you know. <laughs> Is that, I mean, that's what they do all the time, you know. It's, it's ridiculous. Uh, hopefully some of you get my, my humor here. I, you know, I just, I liked how it used to be. I liked the culture before. People didn't just jump on the computer and, and hit dispute. Every time something went wrong, they would actually send you an email and talk to you. It's called communication, people. It's called communication. It's called not being an asshole. Not being an asshole and contacting the seller and trying to work out the situation instead of being a little lazy ass, you know, piece of crap and, and filing a dispute just because something doesn't go your way the first second you're like oh i got a question so a good way to f answer uh, ask a question is to file a dispute and then now we'll get their attention their money's held i'm holding the money hostage now you got to answer my question uh does this come with extra accessories you know after you already shipped the item then they file a dispute two days after you shipped it Asking if there's extra accessories, you know. <laughs> tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Come on, tell me I'm wrong. All you, all you that uh, you know want to talk good about eBay and Amazon as if they never do anything wrong. Tell me I'm wrong, please. Come on. Like to hear it. 